Hello students, welcome to Mizo Study and welcome to my class. Today we will discuss how to write the electronic configuration by cell wise, sub cell wise or orbital wise. Clear? So, let us start. The topic how to write the electronic configuration EC. Now, I am starting from this side. First of all, cell wise. And the second one is sub cell wise. And the third one is what we have that is orbital wise. cell wise, sub cell wise and orbital wise. Okay. Suppose we have, a, okay. first of all, I am discussing the thing, above principle, we know the sub cell having lowest energy, the sub cell having lowest energy, electro, electron will enter on that sub cell which will have low energy. First electron will uh, enter in that sub cell which have lower energy. For example, if I start from 1s, 2s, then 2p, that is 3s, then 3p, then 4s and 3d dot dot dot. Okay. Now, how to find why 1s has low energy and uh, 4s has maximum energy or 3d has maximum energy than 4s that is we have n plus l rule for any subcell having a smallest value of n plus l will have low energy so electron will go first in that subcell for example if i write uh, if i consider 1s n plus l that is 1 plus 0 value is 1 n plus l value is g uh, 1 now for 2s n plus l value is we know 2 plus 0 that is 2 yes sir for 2p n plus l value is 2 plus 1 this is equal to 3 for 3s n plus l value is equal to 3 plus 0 that is equal to 3 now there comes 3d n plus l value will be equal to 3 plus 2 5 and for 4s n plus l value is 4 plus 0 that is equal to 4. Now consider 4s, 4s and 3d look at 4s has lowest value of n plus l uh, in comparison to 3d. So electron will move in 4s subcell first than 3d. This is the n plus l rule. Now if two subcell having same value of n plus l look at 2p and 3s have, uh, have same value of n plus l then uh, electron will occupy on uh, electron uh, will go first in that subcell which has lesser value which has lesser value of n look at in 2p lesser value so electron will move in 2p first than 3s this is the n plus l rule this is a subcell wise and now cell wise we know we have k we have l we have m we have n we have o k has maximum 2 electron l has maximum 8 electron then 18 then 32 then 50 okay now uh, we know the things the magic uh, number ratio magic number can uh, 2 8 8 18 18 32 this is a magic number i will discuss this later Anyways, now cell wise, so if, uh, if anyone ask you, write down the electronic configuration of sodium. How to write? Yes, sir. cell wise, K2, then L maximum 8, then 1, 8 plus 2, 10, 10 plus 1, 11, complete. Now, next one is, we have magnesium. Now, what will you do? That is, 2, 8, 2. Clear? Yes. 
Now, do not write 2, 9 or 3 maximum k, k has maximum 2 electron, k can occupy two, maximum 2 electron, it cannot occupy more than 2. Similarly, L can occupy 8 electron maximum, it cannot occupy uh, more than 8 electron. Similarly, M can maximum, can occupy maximum 18 electron, it can occupy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 up to 18, but it cannot occupy 19 electron. Total maximum it can occupy 18 electron, minimum it can uh, occupy 1, 2, 18 or 0, 0 that means empty, clear to you. Now, if anyone asks you a scandium scandium what will you do uh, first of all calcium 20 we will write 2 8 8 2 here is this electron will not move here because the last electron entered in 4 as s plus as per the n plus l rule so this is the configuration suppose if anyone ask you write down the uh, elect subs scandium if I consider scandium and cell wise electronic configuration, what will you do? That is 2, 8, 9 and 1. Then zinc 30, we will write 2, 8, 18 and 2, 2, 8, 9 and 2 scandium, 2, 8, 18 and 2, these are the thing. We will clear it by uh, writing the sub cell wise electronic configuration, you will get in you will get the complete idea. Suppose if anyone asks you write down the electronic configuration of sodium, we will write that for k, k has a value n is equal to 1, okay. So, it only has one subcell, so we will start from 1s. Now, L, L has n is equal to 2, we will start from that is 2s and 2p because L can occupy maximum 2 subcell. Now, for m, what will happen that is n is equal to 3, yes sir. So, we it will occupy 3s, 3p and 3d, yes sir. Now, for n, n is equal to 4, it will occupy that is it has, it contain 4 subcell, 4s, 4p, 4d and 4f. Is it clear? Yes sir, complete. Now. So, fill first of all we will start from S 1s2 then 2s2 2pc because p has maximum 6 electron. S can contain maximum 2 electron, p can contain maximum 6 electron, d can contain maximum 10 electron and f contain 14 electron max. Now, sub cell wise how to write? Now, write it that is 1s2 complete then 2s2 224 electron, 2p6 10 electron, then 3s1. Now, convert it, compare it with the, with the cell wise that is 2, 6 plus 2, 8 that is 1, this is the case 2, 8, 1. Am I right? Yes. Now, the next one is if I write here calcium, calcium, sub cell wise how to write? We will write here 1s2 that 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6 after 3p there comes 4 as not 3d 4 as 2 now compare it with it with cell wise configuration that is 2 this one is 8 this one is 8 and finally we have 2 that's why we have written 2 8 8 and 2 2 8 not 10 clear to you because the last electron entered in 4 as because it has minimum value of n plus l in comparison to 3d that's why there is slight changes clear now moving here moving this side. Now, the important thing maximum number of questions are from this topic that is orbital wise, orbital wise. The reason where the probability of finding an electron is maximum is called that is orbital or we say the place of exact place of electron orbital it can be it is shown by a bracket and each bracket contain maximum 2 electron in opposite spin. One is clockwise, second one is anti-clockwise. Now, we know S has a 2 electron, so it will have only one orbital. Now, P has 6 electrons, so it will have 3 subcell. Now, D has 10 electron, it will have 
five subcell. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. F has fourteen electrons, so it will have maximum seven orbital. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. These are the things. Now, suppose if they ask K, L, M, N. Now they are telling. K has how many subcell? N is equal to one, only one subcell. Now, how many orbital? S only one orbital. Clear. Now, L has how many subcell? The value of N is equal to two. We know S and P. How many uh, uh, subcell? Uh, how many orbitals are there? N is equal to two. Two to the four. There are four orbitals. So, in a subcell, if you want to find the number of orbitals, the formula is. In a cell, if you want to find the number of orbitals, then the formula is n square. The formula is number of orbitals. The number of orbitals in a cell or orbit that will be equal to n square. What is the th what the things? N square. That is two square four. Here n square one square one. So L has two subcell. Look at. S has three block, P has uh, S has one block, P has three. One, two, three, and four. Total four. Similarly, if anyone ask you in M, how many subcell are there? S, P, and D. Number of orbital. We know the formula is n square, and M has the value of n is equal to three. So the number of orbital will be equal to nine. There is a question from competitive examination, and n has n is equal to four. We know n has subcell S, P, D, and F. So how many orbitals are there? The value of n is equal to four. So the number of orbital n square equal to four for the sixteen. It will have sixteen orbitals. Clear? These are the things. Practice it. Definitely help you a lot. Now, how to write the electronic configuration by subcell or orbital wise? Now, n a one s two. 2s2, 2p6, and 3s1. Now s has only one block. Draw here. S has only one block. P has. It doesn't mean whether it is 2p or 2s or 1s. S has only one block, so I have drawn one block. This s has one block. I have drawn one block. Then p has three block. I have drawn three block. Then s has one block. Clear? Now two electron, one and two. Two electron, one and two. P has six electron. One, one, one. First, each orbital occupy get one electron. Then pairing will take place. One, one, one. Now here is one. This is the case. Clear? Yes. This is a subcell by electronic configuration. Now again, if they ask scandium, okay, what is the general electronic configuration? We know one s two, two s two, two p six, three s two, three p six, and four s two. Now three d one. S has only one block. Draw one block. S has only one block. Draw one block. P has three block. One, two, three. S has one block. P has three block. S has one block and D has five block. One, two, three, four, five. Am I right? Yes, sir. You are absolutely right. Okay. Now fill it. That is two electron. One, two. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, one. Clear. This is the electronic configuration. I hope you all are getting. These are the methods to uh, write the electronic configuration by cell wise, subcell wise, and orbital wise. Now, my friend, time has come. Time to say bye bye. Thank you so much.